crop production and management hello everyone have you ever wondered where our food comes from plants make their own food but animals and humans depend on plants and other animals for food since a large population needs food regularly we must manage crop production properly let us explore how agricultural practices long ago people moved from place to place searching for food later they started growing crops which led to agriculture when plants of this same kind are grown on a large scale in one place it is called a crop crops are classified based on the season they grow in karif crops they are grown in rainy season that is from june to september examples of karif crops paddy maize soybean groundnut cotton rabi crops these are winter season crops they grow between october to march examples wheat gram pea mustard linseed let's see the basic practices of crop production farmers follow seven important steps to grow crops one preparation of soil two sowing of seeds three adding manure and fertilizers four irrigation five protection from weeds six harvesting and seven storage preparation of soil This is the first step. It involves loosening and turning the soil. This process is called ploughing. It helps roots to grow deep and get air, water and nutrients. Ploughing is also called as tilling. It is done by using different tools. Plough either wooden or iron one. is used since ancient times the next one hoe it removes weeds and it loosens the soil this is a cultivator it is driven by a tractor it saves time and labor leveling of land is done after ploughing to ensure even land next sowing seeds good quality seeds are selected to give a better yield testing of seeds damaged seeds float in water healthy seeds sink in the water now let us see methods of sowing traditional tool it is a funnel shaped tool used for sowing seed drill seed drills are used with tractors for even sowing and covering seeds with soil correct seed spacing avoids overcrowding adding manure and fertilizers manure it is organic made from plant and animal waste it improves soil health fertilizers they are chemical nutrients like urea npk they increase crop yield but overuse of fertilizers reduces soil fertility and pollutes water now let us see better soil management soil can be managed better by crop rotation that is growing different crops in turns and by growing leguminous plants like peas these plants help fix the nitrogen in soil manure is better than fertilizers as it improves soil quality next irrigation that is watering crops water is essential for plant growth sources of irrigation wells tube wells lakes rivers and canals methods of irrigation traditional methods moat or pulley system chain pump rahat that is wheel system these are the traditional methods let's see the modern methods 
sprinkler system it sprays water like rain used in uneven lands drip irrigation it saves water and best suited for fruit and vegetable plants next protection from weeds weeds are unwanted plants that compete with crops for nutrients water and space methods of weeding 1 manual removal that is uprooting the weeds with hands or using a khurpi 2 tilling tilling is done before sowing to remove weeds third one weedicides like 2,4-D these chemicals are sprayed to kill the weeds weedicides should be used carefully farmers cover their nose and mouth while spraying weedicides the next one harvesting harvesting means cutting the matured crops after 3 to 4 months let's see the methods of harvesting using sickle this is a manual method using a harvester it is a machine after harvesting the grains are to be separated from the chaff it is done either by threshing or winnowing threshing separates grains from chaff a combined machine does both the harvesting and threshing together winnowing winnowing is used by small farmers to separate grains from chaff harvesting festivals in india farmers celebrate baisakhi in punjab pongal in tamil nadu lohri in north india storage of grains grains must be dried in the sun before storage to prevent damage let's see the different storage methods farmers store grains in jute bags or metallic bins on large scale storage farmers store the grains in silos and granaries neem leaves are used at home to protect grains from insects in large storage godowns chemical treatments to the grains is done food from animals animal husbandry what is animal husbandry rearing animals for food milk eggs etc is called animal husbandry animals need proper food shelter and care common farm animals like cows buffaloes goats poultry that is hens and ducks are grown for food and other products fisheries growing fish for food is fisheries coastal people rely on fish as major part of their diet let us recap the important points of the lesson crops need proper agricultural practices to grow well soil preparation sowing irrigation and harvesting are key steps manure is better than fertilizers for soil health weeds must be removed for better crop growth proper storage of grains prevent grain loss animal husbandry provides food like milk eggs and meat Thanks for watching. Please like the video. Please share this video with your friends. Please subscribe to Great Booster channel. Press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. Check the description to find links of other useful videos. Check the end screens for our new videos.